Grand Rising, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is that you receive this message. What's up, y'all? It's me, Tori and Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Y'all know what I'm coming to do. I am coming to bring the actual factuals, get you hip to what you already hip to, and hip you on to what's good. Ain't nothing but love here on this channel, y'all. Nothing but love. Welcome to new subscribers and what's up to everybody who been rocking out the gate, out the gate. I think somebody need to pay attention to their car. Pay attention while you're on the road. You understand? You're going to have to be an offensive and defensive driver. You know, it's the holiday season and people is just driving all willy nilly, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want no tower moments, right? We don't want no extra expenses. Want to be able to use that money maker that you driving, right? Because it's your money maker is getting you to the money. So let's see what the overall message is. Let's see what's going on, y'all. Little man's, little man's. That's what I pulled. Little man's. The next card is North Side Reversed. South. Little man's in the South. That's where I'm getting from it. Little man's in the South. South Side. Southern States. Little man's. Poor eating habits. All four food groups, please. Develop better eating habits, y'all. Yeah, that's what they want you to do. And at the bottom of my deck is they just want to screw. No strings attached. Mm -hmm. And they kind of slow motion. Obstacles have to be removed first, though. That path being cleared, the little man who just want to screw. Somebody on the path to a little man who just want to screw. So, <laughs> You might be driving and, um, oh, I just heard driving or walking, sitting on a porch. Somebody going to pull up on you. Or they may have a flat. Something going down, y'all. <laughs> Little man's is flat. Mm. Too early for this, ancestors. Too early for this, Jews. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Y'all know I pray before. Before I even turn on this camera, so let's do it again. Thank you, Most High. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, spirit guides, for keeping us safe, for putting us where it is we're supposed to be. Even if we are not content with where we are, is where we're supposed to be. It's all divinely planned. Divinely planned and divinely timed was what I just heard. So, little man's in the south side. Y'all poor eating habits. All four food groups, please. All four food groups. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I got this five of wands, and I have mentally, emotionally effed up arguments. feel like somebody is going to have some irritants placed in their special, special, special place. And that is your own secured energy. Somebody is trying to come in, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, that's going to make some shit rough. <coughs> Excuse me. I hear... This person is on some fugazi shit. Fugazi, they are in a very low vibing energy. Um, they might have a Napoleon complex. Um, one of my feminine energies, one of my queens, my sisters, or it could be a masculine energy, one of my bros. You about to have somebody on your path who about to have you arguing and is making your personal realm of being rough. I'm going to try to have you come up out of 
some high vibrational energy. This King of Swords reversed. This person could be affiliated with the law, um, politics, could be a doctor, um, shit, a lawyer. They under a lot of anxiety though. They have a whole a, a high profile job. Hmm, I was gonna say ho. Hmm. Either they are possessing some whole like tendencies or that could be you. It's about to be a choice in power though, right? This person is in some low vibrational energy, y'all, and they are at rest right now, but they they coming towards you with this perverse energy. <laughs> All they want to do is screw. The G said, listen to your intuition because you are being divinely guided. You are being divinely guided. I have an eight of wands. And that just further lets me know that this person coming, they on the move towards you. They on the threshold of you. <laughs> this person is going to bring this low vibrational energy to knock you off your course, is what the G said. I feel as though whoever this message is for, you've been vibing high lately. You have. You've been vibing high lately, but this fire sign, this Aries, this Leo, this Sagittarius, this is what they're good at. They're good at getting people about their hookup, right? They really don't have a focus on a relationship. They might be just coming towards you to knock the cobwebs off from um, below the belt, you know? This might be someone that you may link with, um, that you have some success with some money, Start off as friends. Um, start off as friends. May end up, you know, doing a horizontal tango on top of the sheets. But this is going to be a relationship that you are going to be able to build your strengths with your primary talents is what I just heard. You got to start eating better, too. Got to start eating better. You're going to meet this person on the south side of town. Um, southern states. Mm, the next card I pulled is synchronicity. Coincidence, deja vu. There are synchronized events that are leading up to this meeting. Yeah, it is a synchronized event that is going to lead up to this meeting. Um... You've already, you know, shared and embedded these type of energy. So this, this meeting is going to be something like a test, right? It's going to be something like a test, but it could also be a gift depending on how you look at it. This person, this situation could be a gift. I got this two of wands that just popped out. Um, yeah, it won't be nothing possible as far as romantic dealings in this relationship this connection but you know we have free will your choice is yours there's gonna be a choice in power with this king of swords reverse um this person they kind of mean they kind of cruel they are they're mean they're cruel um i feel as though with you knowing this though you'll be able to check your hand like you're supposed to so you won't have any disappointments in your own personal personal thoughts and perceptions of what it is that you want to do going further. Someone could be this this fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, may be going through some type of physical suffering. They're sad about something going on in their body, right? They got money. They do. I see riches and fortune. This can be happening next season. This is a future message. This is future energy. Um, Page of Pentacles. King of Wands reversed. And the Empress. Hmm.
I'm feeling as though the G's have high, your ancestors, your spirit guides, 10 on 9 on the clock, has high expectations for this connection. This person is, is a, in a fucked off energy, right? But with this page of pentacles and this king of wands reversed, I feel as though this is going to be a very, very quick connection. Y'all going to be magnetized. This is going to be a money opportunity as well, like I said. This person has some money. Um, they have some type of high calling on their life. They do. They have a high calling on their life. They're in the spotlight. They're in the spotlight um, with whatever it is that they do. They're a scholar at what they do. With this page of Pentacles, this earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you a soldier. You used to this type of energy, but you shed it and dead it this energy, right? Somebody has been manifesting a connection to where there would be some type of rule of thumb, right? It's going to happen quick. It is. It's going to happen quick. This person is going to come to you very friendly. Very friendly. What I just heard as well. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Um, what I just heard as well. This could be a person with a child or this can be a person who you are going to meet up with who is going to place one in that bun little man this person got the napoleon complex or they could you know have that little a little phallus object between their legs and that is one of their issues right there it's gonna be like deja vu for you too right it's going to be like deja vu with this Empress card. They're going to be looking at you like you are the most beautiful, handsome man or woman walking this face of this earth. They're going to recognize that glow around you and they're going to take action. They're going to want to nurture you, though. You're going to have some doubt about it because, like I said, they can be in this low vibrational, fucked off energy. They're very argumentative, right? They may be a lawyer, right? <laughs> you may have something to do with law because they're very argumentative. Um, they're going to be very impulsive um, as far as how they get close to you and how they initiate contact, how they take this relationship on up off the ground. feel as though right now somebody is developing their own skill. Um, with this page of pentacles, you're developing your own skill and it's good, but you know, it can be better. Feel as though this connection 1323 on the clock is going to help to heighten and polish off, polish up. I mean, polish up your special abilities, whatever that may be. Maybe you um, are thinking about being a lawyer, being in a Senate, or, you know, doing something that has to do with catering to um, someone's needs, like a nurse. Um, you got a choice that you're going to have to make. You're a scholar is what I heard, but this person is too. You're both very smart, um, very headstrong. Um, this connection is going to bring a lot of abundance. A lot of abundance. I see a lot of abundance. Someone is fertile right now, but it's unknown to you. Mm. It's unknown to you. I feel as though maybe um, Miss Mary has been at rest. Someone may have an irregular period and a uh, irregular menstrual cycle. Um, you're a very sensual being as well as what my G said. And that shines through your eyes. Um, I heard your walk. Your walk is very seductive. Um, you might have a very sexy walk or a very pimpish walk, I heard. You know, male or female. I have the moon card on the bottom of my deck. Someone is very intuitive as well. 
got this water energy that water you know represents secrets it represents intuition um you're very vast in spirit somebody is very vast in spirit and this is going to bring a lot of emotions to this connection a lot of emotions to this connection um somebody needs your intuition somebody needs your gut intuition somebody needs to be connected to you because of that first mind that you always go with mm -hmm. they're gonna take action towards you they gonna feel like you the hbic head booger in charge mm -hmm. not only are you nurturing but this person you're going to, this person is going to want to pleasure you. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. This person is going to want to pleasure you. Somebody may have a, um, a social media platform um, on YouTube. Somebody listening to me has a social media platform on YouTube. Or you're thinking about starting it. Um, this person could be somebody, uh, who was dealing with the law or they could be the police. They could be 12, 6, 5, 5, oh. you have someone in your energy as well, um, who right now is very phony. I just heard very phony. This person could be a fire sign. This person could also be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This connection, you understand what I'm saying? It's a spiritual contract. It's already written. You already walk this matrix with this person in another life. You're going to meet this person. Happenstance, though. But it's some type of soul tie that you have with your family someone is going to meet their next it's going to be a relationship mm -hmm. but it's meant that's what i want to let you know it's meant you're going to meet this person through your family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This family member could be a Scorpio. This family member could be a water sign. Or this family member could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You bringing everybody's glow back is what I just heard as well. All four food groups. Ooh, excuse me. All four food groups, though, please. You got to develop better eating habits. Oh, this person going to have you eating. Not only eating... With that money, they about to have you gaining some weight. Somebody around you phony and fake as hell, though. They are. Um, Y'all might be vibing at the same wavelength. You understand what I'm saying? And that is how, you know, like minds attract. You're going to be very allured to this person. Romance is going to kind of be like on the back burner. It's like, well, you know, I don't know. You're going to be kind of, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to mess with you, goddammit. This person, though, I just heard it may be short-lived. It may be short-lived because this person isn't happy. Mm -hmm. This person isn't happy, and you're going to pick up on that very soon. Very soon, with you know, very soon within your first meeting, within your first conversation, it's going to be very impulsive that this fire sign, um, they're going to be very impulsive. This person is ruthless, too. Ruthless meaning like they're a protector. Um, they, they, I told you they're cruel, they're mean. This person, um, they have a high crown on their head. And when I say that, there's somebody who is looked up to in their community. Um, this person isn't happy. You're going to bring some, you're going to tear down some walls, though. You're going to tear down those shit face walls.
to where they're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to do anything but try a new stance in life. You, you're trying something new. What's new? What's new is going to be this change. This change is going to be this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person is very well off. Very well off. Incoming, incoming. They could be a neighbor. Could be a neighbor on your street. Yeah, it could be a neighbor on your street that you've yet to meet. Pisces just flew out this winter. Somebody has a Pisces in their energy as well this winter. The G saying, you are a finocket head. You are a finocket head. This Pisces is a finocket head. You would be a finocket head dealing with this Pisces, is what the G said. Somebody is going to have a choice in the matter. But your spirit guides, your ancestors are saying, <coughs> excuse me, guys. So I'm in a different area, and their climate is working on my immunity trying to trying to i'm shooting and did and that though um something happened right the beginning of this summer something happened the beginning of this summer that kind of slowed you down um but it stemmed from something or someone you were gifted with the beginning of the spring opportunity that was had um it was slow though right balanced you out could have been a libra could have been a sagittarius involved um strong bond very strong bond something dissipated this winter though because you paid attention paid attention right you paid attention or you will be paying attention and what pop out pay attention somebody needs to pay attention to a pisces and a sagittarius and or a libra i feel as though somebody in this mix is a divine feminine a divine masculine a light worker it's already written in the stars that this would be what you would do in this lifetime and that's heal people that's heal people however it is that you do it if you are you know arguing for them if you are a lawyer and you know you're debating and, and trying to get folk um to see the betterment in their life circumstances or you're you're catering to their needs um in in some nursing capacity um Helping to heal the sick is what I just heard. Helping to heal the sick. Shit been slow for you, huh? It's been slow. Um, family life has been turned upside down is what I see. Yeah. Family life has been turned upside down to where someone took the high road and you did set. You just peeled out. I just heard burn brothers. So, <laughs> a lot was cut off from you. A lot was cut off from you. Family, um, love, I see vehicle. I see you on the road to discovery, though, discovering hidden talents. I see you on the road to discovering your strengths while sharpening those weaknesses, is what the G said. Um, hmm. something is on the hush hush or supposed to be on the hush hush <laughs> your ancestors said what was supposed to be on the hush hush was these people working behind your back behind the scenes to cut off everything what I just said love, car they, they wanted to cut off how you moved out here in this matrix. 
stepping high, mm -hmm. stepping high and walking with the fuck em dress girl on, fuck em, fuck em, fuck em, fuck em. Right now there's arguments that's being had about you, about the design of your life, about how they weren't able to stop you and how these enemies that you had, um, that, that came about the beginning of the spring and the beginning of the summer, supposed to be a secret. It's a community of them, right, who wanted to cut off your happiness, but you may begin to notice here soon that these people who you didn't make them your enemies, I feel as though you loved them unconditionally is what I just heard. They are about to start going through hell and high water for putting all of their energy into making sure that you are tripped up. It was supposed to be a secret, though. It was supposed to be a secret that they had their hands in the pot, stirring the shit pot. But see, I feel as though there's a wind of change that has happened in the recent past to where a lot of folk has been unmasked. A lot of folk has been un unmasked on purpose. Mm -hmm. A lot of folk has been unmasked. These people, these people aren't right. They aren't. You have been removed. They have been removed. You're going to get a call, a message. Someone is in the hospital going through all type of shit storms right now. Is what the G said, but this is past due. This is past due for them. They haven't been taking care of themselves, right? They have poor eating habits. They have a very fucked off ass energy too. Um, smoking, drinking, pill popping, doing excessive drugs is what I just heard. Everybody don't pray to who we pray to, y'all. They don't. They don't. Pray to who we pray to. You're about to experience a miracle, though. You are. You are about to experience a miracle. Take it where it resonates. Don't count out the smallest, the smallest blessing. It can be you not stubbing your toe, running to get the mail. Pay attention to those intuitive nudges, those downloads. I heard pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your thoughts when they're trying to be infiltrated. Somebody received some new downloads in the past couple days, and the G's want you to know that you are on your right path. You are on your right path. This man, this man may be in the hospital, right? This man may be in a hospital. This man has tried to go against the grain of most high and your angels and ancestors. It's some extra changes coming. Those changes are coming with you. They can't stop what most high has for us. You may feel like you are just out here wandering in the wilderness, but you are not, the G said. You are not. You have a woman in your energy. This woman may be of the Caucasian persuasion, or this person can be light-skinned. Light-skinned with blonde hair. I just heard green eyes. Hmm. Spirit wants you to know that they are with you, period. Someone has traveled. This is your confirmation. You have been kind of up in your head and wondering if you made the right move. Yeah, you made the right move. You're on your way to very, very, very 
good deeds being noticed, right? You're being rewarded, period, point blank. The Jews don't want you to trust this person who may be coming in um, through a phone call, through a message. This person could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. They want to stop you from being promoted, right? Um, they may, and you're going to have to be careful and think first when dealing with this phone call. And you're also, I feel as though because you've been through so much, you're going to be very careful and think first dealing with this connection that is coming, right? But it's going to be a promotion of some sort to where you're going to be looked at in a very different light. This person is going to help you boss up in your emotions. This this person, you've already shed and indebted some, some fucked off ass energies around you and within you. This person going to test your patience too, <laughs> It's going to be a sudden achievement, though, right? You're going to boss up in your emotions, and you're going to pay attention to this good luck all around you as soon as you connect with this person. This person is coming for a reason, for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. That, my dear, is not even up to you. That's up to most high, right? Somebody's going to call you, though. going to be some sort of confession maybe a aquarius libra gemini or this person could be scorpio pisces cancer this person could be leo aries sagittarius i got all elements y'all this person could either be a taurus capricorn or a virgo they're toxic they're going to use some emotional manipulation to try to to try to dissipate this feel-good energy that you have, right? They want you to study and reflect on this bad news that may be coming. It's this bad news, you know, is going to kind of like get you up out of this this positive uniform that you done placed on. This you 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 have on a you you the spirit has wiped you down, wiped you down with positivity. <laughs> wiped you down and steered you in the direction of your blessings somebody gonna come at you and try to take you off your path and it's not gonna be this connection this little man's it's not gonna be this connection however this connection is going to test your patience jeez want you to be careful and think first be careful and think first stay safe but somebody is being promoted period a proposal of love and it's gonna be quick it's gonna have you a little perplexed like hold up hold up 